All right, everyone, and welcome back to That Variety Nerd. I'm Christina, and today we are diving back into more of the Sims 4 Moving On Up Challenge um, in the City Living Expansion Pack. Um, again, this is more of a series I tend to do like when we're in between packs, and plus I find it fun and interesting to do. So last episode, there's a lot to unpack, folks. There really is. So last episode, we sort of wrapped up Laya's arc. Uh, she adopted Devin and Callie, I think. Yeah, Callie. I'm like, I know Devin was one of them. And then we found out that Christine was an elder only because Lia's friends and, you know, cl like co-workers were starting to die off mysteriously. Do with that information what you will, given the Strangerville arc. But every it's fine. Everything's fine. So Lia ended up with three bedrooms, one bathroom in her trailer. And she enjoys that each of her kids have their own little room. That's all that she could really ask for and all that her kids could really ask for. So we've wrapped up Laya's arc. Um, if their kids are somehow involved in this challenge in any sort of way, I'm on board with it. Um, so if you want me to go back and do like another revisit sort of video, we can do that as well. Um, but uh, we also got back to Christine because Christine is an elder. We found that out the hard way. And uh, we kind of realized, oh crap, we got to get an heir to pass through this next round of apartments. Because we're only on like apartment like four or five, I think. <laughs> so the goal for this episode is to finish up this apartment, I think. So that way Lexi can go move into the next apartment. And then we can have Christine sort of retire here. That's sort of the thing. Because we need more than one bedroom. That's just how the challenge works. The links are in the description for the challenge, by the way, in case if you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. So basically, we can't really do anything. Uh, we can't have a career. Uh, we can only have one roommate at a time. We can only have like a spouse, so I don't know how that's going to work. But um, again, all the links are down in the description down below. My brain's just super fuzzy right now. So um, we are only, I think, hold up here. We are only, which one is this one? How many are we in? I don't think we're that far in, like super far in, I should say. So we're at 17 Culpepper House. So the next one's going to be in either 2B Jasmine Suites or two or 21 Chick Street. Uh, so we have to pick one. And then we have to go to 18 Culpepper House, which 18 Culpepper House, I think, is right next door in this little area over here. So we have a two-bedroom place, and then we have to go back down to, I think, a one-bedroom. I could be wrong about that. Um, 18 Culpepper House, I'm not 100% sure what that one. I'm pretty sure it's this one, but uh, we were just in this one over here. This one's the one that had, like, the chef in there, I think, and his mom. And then this one's, like, a one-bedroom or two. So again, uh, we're just sort of going through everyone's sort of... We're just trying to wrap things up here with Christine. Like, it's sad. I'm sad. Like, I'm sad just thinking about it. So we're going to have Lexi sort of... We're trying to pass the baton over to Lexi. Uh, she's a teenager. We aged her up last episode from a child. To me, that made more sense because that way if we had a game over or if Christine tragically passes, then, you know, uh, we have someone to sort of continue this crazy challenge with. So, yeah, she's doing her homework right now. So pretty much her mom got through all the crap apartments, essentially, from my understanding. Also, please let me know in the comments down below, if we don't get to it this episode, which uh, apartment you would like to see, either 2B Jasmine Suites or the Chick Street one. Not the one that has, like, all the crazy TLC issues. It's the one that's right across the hallway from Penny Pizzazz. Uh, so, yeah, I don't, like, we might have to, like, add in some new townies or something just to keep things sort of fresh and regoing. I don't know. Like, I suck at cast. Like, I am not going to lie about that. I will, like, throw in, like, adoptive families or something in this thing. I don't care. We will do whatever it takes to keep this challenge well and alive, uh, whether that's their adoption or otherwise. <laughs> so, yeah, we're trying to just make this thing work, fam. That's what we're doing. So we're going to we're gonna tag you in for a little bit, Christine. Uh, we're going to go ahead. I was going to say, let's try to get some money here, but we don't really have money just yet uh, we do have some fruits and veggies and all that stuff that we can easily just like either sell or put in here uh yeah we're just gonna put all these in here in the fridge and then we're gonna just go ahead and just keep on keeping on we're gonna just get our posters and go from there and that's what lexi is doing right now she's collecting the posters uh so we got one for 65 simoleons oh okay we got snow globes over here. Do we have snow globes over there? No, we do not. Actually, yes, we do. 
so yeah, we got another 120 simoleons, and we got 65 simoleons here. Uh, we're going to get some snow globe action going on over here as well. Uh, let's see here. We got snow globes over here, so we got another 15 simoleons. We got a random plumbing part, I think. And then, Christine, we are going to have you just do uh, landscape painting. And then you also got another 10 simoleons there. So already at like 329 simoleons. Again, we have to have this like fully functioning and furnished. And that's sort of the goal right now, just to have it just fully functioning and furnished. So we're going to go ahead and add this carpet in to the living room area. And we'll just sort of go from there. Uh, I didn't want to do anything super crazy or just super just expensive and lavish. So yeah, we've got carpeting in, which is great. Not ideal to have carpet, but it's like, it's fine. Like, everything's fine, right? Right. So yeah, we're pretty much just transitioning from Christine to Lexi. That's sort of what this episode's going to be all about. So that way, when we go back and start this challenge again, because like at the time of recording this, it is July, I believe, 15th. Yeah, it's July 15th when I'm recording this. So at the time of recording this, I don't know what the schedule's going to look like for August, uh, but... Uh, I will say this, we are getting closer and closer and closer to finishing up some of these series, which I'm really stoked about, because quite frankly, we sort of need to wrap up some of these challenges. This one's sort of more of a challenge that I like to do in between packs. Oh, Laya, you're gem. We don't deserve Laya. We really don't. Okay, so we're going to go to the bathroom. We're going to go get some food. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just continue to get these landscape paintings done, because they're quicker to get done. And not to mention, like, we're going to just keep, we just need to keep getting money. That's just how we're going to roll. Um, but yeah, so we're just sort of painting while Lexi is going to just grab a shower really quickly. And then we might have her do, like, an odd job or something. So we'll have her find odd jobs because, like, why not? Uh, we might have her do the freelancer, quote-unquote, career um, as, like, her main thing. So that could get very interesting very fast. Because uh, Christine's main thing was painting. Okay, she's a two-star celebrity. That's cool. That's fine and dandy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get another bed. So that way both of them have beds to, like, not share. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and just get uh, these parenthood beds, I think. We'll just get, like, this one. And again, they're going to still eventually, like, not share rooms or anything like that or you know whatever they're not gonna like you know you get my point they're not gonna share a room because one of them's gonna move out and the other one's sadly going to pass oh god I'm depressed just thinking about it I know these are like more for like uh, island living but I think it's still pretty timely either way so uh we're just gonna get this gamer one just so that we get money like that's just sort of what we're gonna do at this point, just get some odd jobs going. Like, I know we suck at, like, a lot of these jobs, but it's fine. But if we can at least hold our own with these sort of jobs, then that's what matters, I think. Right? Right. So, yeah, you are almost done with your painting, so that's awesome. So, we got another 608 simoleons right there. Then we're just going to go ahead and get another confident painting going, or get another painting going in general. So yeah, pretty much uh, Christine's going to like end her days in this apartment, which it's not the worst apartment ever. Granted, the Gremlins trade is not favorable, but it's fine. Okay, so we need another like 14 simoleons. That's fine. Uh, we'll have her continue to paint because that's her thing. And then we'll have you go to do your odd job. Laya, we love you and everything, but dang. Okay, so as soon as this meter is full, is full that's when Christine will unfortunately pass, which is sad. Like, it's really sad when you think about that out loud. Oh my god. Just, oh, I'm, I'm bummed out, fam. I'm really bummed out. So yeah, I don't know how much money, if we're going to actually make money off of this, but it's fine. Like, at least we're trying. We're putting our names out there, and that's all that matters. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get more video gaming in. Probably get our four hours that we need in for the aspiration. But yeah, that's sort of where we're at. We're gonna have we're gonna resume our painting. Resume your painting. Thank you. Okay, we had a failure, but we got 19 simoleons. So I count that as a win because we can now officially get our second bed for this place. 
Uh, and then Christine, she has her painting done. So again, like this thing does not need that much. It just needs a functioning purpose. So we don't really have to do a whole lot in this sort of room, which is wonderful. Um, it's mostly just like living room and kitchen that we need to put more of our energy and attention on. So yeah, you are actually going to go and sell your painting first. And then you're going to go to bed. I mean, go to the bathroom and then go to bed. There we go. We got a nice little table over there. And then, do we have enough for like a sofa of some sort? Okay, maybe not a sofa. Love seat, maybe? Barely. So I don't think we should go that route. Uh, so you are going to go ahead and get your painting on. You need sleep, but it's too loud. Uh, we'll have both of these girls go to bed in like just a second here. So yeah, we'll be back once both of them like are, are like freshened up and ready to go and tackle the day. Laya, are you okay? Like, okay, she just angrily took out my trash. Okay, group project. Uh, we'll try to contribute because you know what? Like, yeah, exactly. Everybody benefits from a group project. Not really. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some leftover cake. And then we're going to go ahead and start furnishing this place up a little bit more. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and move this bed, actually. God, I hope my game didn't freeze. Oh, thank God. Okay, I was going to say, oh God, do not freeze. So we're going to actually, oh God, okay, what happened here? Oh God! Okay, so we're going to move this bed actually out to the hallway area, which actually sounds super depressing when I say that out loud. But hear me out here, people. So we're going to go ahead and sell this one to get a better bed for uh, Christine. Which, you know, again, I realize it sounds trashy, but you know, like that's how we're going to roll here. And so let's see here. Do we have a swatch for this one that's like kind of reddish? Only because I really just, I really like that bed. Okay, maybe not. So yeah, we're going to try to get like a reddish sort of bed going on here. Or some sort of other like more neutral color. I think maybe this one would work. Although it is more masculine in tones, it's fine. So we're going to go with something that's red, I think. Because it's like what the walls look like. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and... Okay, armadillo. That thing. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and just get this bed, I think, which I think ties in really nicely. I, I was thinking about this bed, but then I'm like, that's too rustic. But this one at least has like a headboard or whatever it's called. So yeah, it's got that going for it. And then we're going to just start to work in the living room area just a little bit, like not a whole lot. Uh, just enough to where we can like put a couch in here and like maybe like a TV stand or something. So yeah, that's what we're going to do next. So actually, let's not do red. Uh, we're going to just do, like, plain white, I think. That should do the trick. And then we'll just put in, like, the Namely Square uh, love seat right there. Do we have enough for a coffee table? Okay, well, maybe not, but that's fine. So, yeah, we're going to probably include a couple more, like, couches maybe, and then, like, maybe a TV or something like that. But I'm not really seeing a whole lot more that we can really do in this apartment, to be completely honest. So we're going to go ahead and eat the cake, which... Again, like, that doesn't sound 200% right, but it's fine. Uh, we'll do a small abstract painting because that's the only thing we can afford. Uh, and so uh, we're going to go ahead and chat with Laya for just a little bit. We'll enthuse about meal. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just chat with her. Complain about the wind? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, it looks like Lexi's making some friends at school, which is really, really good to see. And yeah, so I don't know how much longer Christine's going to be like living for, but I guess as soon as that meter fills up, then it's like, it's go time, like sort of pun intended. So yeah, we're going to go ahead. Uh, we still have like a little over 300 and some odd simoleons left over. So we're going to go ahead and get like some end tables in this bedroom over here. Uh, we could probably include like two in here, I think, possibly, I hope. Uh, yeah, so we'll do that. We'll get a couple of these sort of end tables in this room. And we are smooth sailing. We are almost done. We are basically almost done in this apartment, which is kind of wild, so we can at least mark off this one. And then Christine's just going to hang out in this apartment. And then Lexi is going to go on to the next one, which both of them are two-bedroom places, which is kind of wild to think about it that way, but it's true. 
Oh, it's true. It's darn true. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and just do this one. I don't know which one I just clicked on. I think it was the moving one. But it's fine. Everything's fine. So yeah, Lexi's just doing an odd job. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fill... We're actually going to do some meal prep. Uh, we'll do some garden salads because why not? Um, so yeah. We're just going from there. We're kind of just... We're basically almost there in terms of like each room having a functioning purpose at this point. Uh, we might just do like a dresser or something over there. But like for the most part, we've basically got like a functioning kitchen. We got functioning everything. So like I'm not like super concerned about anything, which is quite honestly great. And then we'll just temporarily put this easel thing like right here probably. And then that way we can fill out this sort of couch area a little bit more. Um, afterwards, once... Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even want to think about that right now. Like, just, I'm not, no, I'm sad. I am sad just thinking about the fact that we're approaching our end of time with Christine. It makes me just, it genuinely makes me sad. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to test out what this looks like at night. Uh, we'll have you actually move the bed over here once again. And then we're going to go ahead and have you move that in there or I don't know we're gonna move this we'll just move this right here and then that way we can actually have like a real actual like sort of living room space I think yeah then that way we can do that we'll do this and we will do this then we're gonna go ahead and maybe get a coffee table uh, we'll just do something simple like that, and then I don't know how we're going to do the rugs, uh, but... Alright, so Lexi's almost done with her odd job, and then we'll probably just have her do, like, homework afterwards. You know, be that responsible adult that we all know that she can be. But yeah, we're basically almost done in this room. Like, once we get a TV, then we're going to be just fine. Maybe some lights, of course, but yeah. So, I think... Oh, it's snowing! Uh, we're going to have you do like a landscape painting after, I think, as well. And then... Oh, I was like... I thought this was like an actual thing. Oh my god, okay. The murder of 13-13-21 Chick Street was such a terrifying performance. Who would have thought it was all a true story? I feel bad for the poor saps that live in that apartment. Oh god! Oh god. Y'all, what? Which apartment is that in the challenge if it is in the list? Dude, that was our first apartment that, that we were in. Oh my god, I knew something was up in there. It all ties together. Well, I mean, to be fair, there was a chalk outline. So, I mean, there's, there's that. Uh, we're going to have you just do your homework really quickly and just be good. Uh, the project uh, we could probably just have out here. Uh, so yeah, we're basically going to have everybody go to sleep very shortly. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I'm struggling right now. So yeah, we're going to have everybody go to bed in just a moment. And then we're going to probably finish up like playing in this apartment. Which is wild in and of itself. But uh, we need to go to bed in just a minute or two. Oh, my God. Like... You are tense, and you need to go to bed. Alright, so we are back with more of the adventures of Christine and her daughter Lexi. And we are just getting some leftover food first, so we're going to try to contribute to the group project. And, yeah. So, we need to pay our bills off in just a hot minute. So, we need to get 400 simoleons scrounged up. Uh, we're almost done with this landscape painting, which should help us out quite a bit. But as you can see here, like, we're basically doing just fine. We're almost done in this apartment, which is quite awesome. So yeah, if we put our brains to it, we can do it. Uh, so this is where Christine is ultimately going to stay. Um, while Lexi continues forth with the legacy into one of the good old... Um... Oh my god, okay. Like, Laya, you need to chill for a minute here. Like, I love you and everything, but chill. Seriously, just just chill. So yeah, we're going to grab some posters, uh, we're going to go ahead and just grab our usual 
mementos. Oh my god, like, you need to go, go outside, you'll feel better. So, yeah, we're gonna, we're taking control over, uh, Christine for right now because Lexi's at school. She's a high school student, that makes sense to me. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get another snow globe over here, grab another poster over here, and then we're gonna grab another poster over here, and then there's another snow globe over here. Yeah, there we go. Today's mail has been delivered. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead. Uh, that one's 120. That's 15. That is 10. Uh, so, this is 200, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. So, we got the 400 we need to cover the rent. And then I think this one's another 65. So, that's pretty awesome as well. Okay, it looks like she really needs to go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah, she needs to go. Girl, just get the snow globe and go home. That's all I ask. Please, just grab the snow globe. You'll feel better once you get your snow globe. All right, we're going to go ahead. We're going to use the bathroom. We're going to pay our rent because we're responsible adults. Or at least halfway responsible, I should say. Then we'll have a healthy 84 simoleons left over. We're going to resume the landscape painting. And then... We'll go ahead and continue to work hard in school because, you know, that's a thing. Uh, so, yeah, we're at a C student level right now, but that's fine. Like, it's still early in the week. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead. We paid the rent off. And we're just going to continue painting. And that's what we're going to do. So, every time that we get a new painting, we're probably going to get something like a plant or a light. Uh, just to make sure that we're doing, that we're getting everything accomplished. So, yeah, that's, uh, so we are at. 5.48. Yeah, 5.48 now. So we need to get some lights or something out here, I think. Yeah. So we're going to get some lights out here. Alright, Lexi's done with school for the day. That's awesome. Good job, Lexi. We're proud of you. You're doing great, sweetie. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get some lights for out here. Candle lights, but lights nonetheless. And then, let's see here. Lexi, how are you doing? Okay, so you need to go to the bathroom, and you need to get food. Then we're going to have you do an odd job. Because why not? And then you are almost maxed out with your painting skill, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. And then we're going to sell the painting, see where we're at at that point. Alright, refined palette, have a sim reach maximum painting skill. So that's pretty baller. So yeah, we're going to just see where we're at after this painting, and then we can sort of evaluate from there. Like, we're going to get, like, the cheapest TV, cheapest, like, everything. So just letting you all know, like, where exactly we're going next. So we're at 933, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, just get this cheap TV that's, like, 500 simoleons. Then we're going to go ahead and get this pennant lamp. And just put it in this hallway. Then we're going to get some table lamps for this area, I think. Uh, slash the bedroom, the, because I can't talk. Again, struggling, fam. Struggling. Alright, and then we're going to sell this bed. We're going to get a dresser. And I think we're almost done. If not, like, pretty much done. And this is just meant to be, like, for one person. So, yeah, this whole thing has been just crazy wild, and I'm here for it. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to get that in there. And then I don't really think we got much else to really do. Yeah, we really don't. So, we'll include, like, a mirror or something back here, probably, just to sort of round it out. Uh, but other than that, I can't think of anything, like, maybe a rug or two. But otherwise, like, we're basically done, fam. Like, we got a fully functioning apartment regardless of like where we're at so we're just gonna keep getting money for Lexi so that way they can just have their own little thing going so yeah no this whole thing's been wild I'm not even joking when I say that either like to me it's sort of like holy crap like we've made it fam we've made it um so yeah um we are pretty much transitioning out like this is it Okay, like, I realize, like, everything smells, but, yeah, we are basically done. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give a hug and just 
we're basically done. I don't know how else to describe it. We're basically done, like, in terms of what we're doing with uh, Lexi and Christine here. Oh, okay, well, we got an unpainted wall. I mean, to be fair, like, I feel like that's, like, halfway acceptable at this point, but, you know, we're we're suckers for some con we're we're suckers for continuity that's how we roll so yeah this is it the torch has been passed from Christine to Lexi fam the torch has been passed so we're going to go in we're saying goodbye to Christine uh we're going to go to just go to manage worlds we're going to move out our beloved Lexi and leave behind Christine. And then Lexi's just going to have to go on her own. There's no other way around it. She's a teen. She'll have a little bit more of a harder time to get money because of that factor. But you know what? It's time. Lexi can do it. She's understood that, you know, hey, like, it's going to get a little tough, but she'll make it work. And that's all that matters. And so, uh, the next two rooms are actually, or the next two apartments are actually, are actually this apartment that's coming up, I should say, we get to pick one of two. So, I think to keep it somewhat consistent, like, um, let's see here. So, Lexi, she's a teenager. She's, wait, Lothario? Why is Don Lothario in Samai Juno? Oh, that's actually kind of sad. Well, we're going to move to... Uh, let's see here. Oh, I was going to say, who's over here? Okay. Uh, we're going to move this guy out. I don't know. We're going to throw him somewhere else. We'll throw him in with... We'll throw them in over here because, you know, that makes sense. I don't know. We're just trying to, like... We're trying to get into the Spice District just to be close to Christine. So that way, like, she's not super far away from Mom. But also, yeah, which one is this one that's like, yeah, because we did this one already, and then this one's 17, so I'm guessing this one's probably 18, but we don't know quite yet, so there's that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and manage the household, and once we move in Lexi to our new place, we're starting over. This is just crazy. I, I just don't even, I, I am at a loss for words right now. I don't even know what to say. Um, but I think what we're going to do, okay, no, we're not playing in that family. We're not playing in that household. So Lexi, uh, we can either do, uh, the Jasmine Suites to be close to her mom, or we can wing it at 21 Chick Street and live next to Penny Pizzazz and Don Lothario, which could get very well interesting indeed. So we're going to just do one or two. So Spice Market is one, and then Fashion District is two. All right, so we got a two. Um, I usually go through the first three because, like, usually the first three are not random. And then, like, once you get to the fourth or fifth sort of one, it gets a little bit more random. So, yeah, we're going to move in next door to Don Lothario and some other random dude. And we are moving in next to Penny Pizzazz. Do with that information what you will. Uh, and so the rules of this is that it has to be unfurnished and we have to set our money to zero once we get there. So we are going to be just diving back into this challenge uh, momentarily. So we're going to set her money to zero and then we're going to end the episode there. So again, very much like these, this episode and the last episode, very much transition episodes, but for good reason. And I know for sure I'm going to miss Christine. I'm going to miss Laya. But we have a new generation of Sims that are coming up, such as Devin, Callie, and now we have the heir, who is Lexi. So, this is the layout. Uh, we have to keep it at two beds and one bath, uh, but we can change the layout any way we want to. So, we're going to go ahead and go with money zero. And we are going to be... Oh, this is so candid. She's like, what did I get myself into this time? So yeah, again, thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, this has been a very wild, like, last couple of episodes, just in general. I hope you all have enjoyed this little spin that we're going with and just direction that we're going with. I'm excited to bring more episodes, and we're starting with a new sim next time. We're going with Lexi Chappelle, who was our OG uh, character, Christine Chappelle's 
daughter, adopted daughter. So will she meet, will she meet that special someone? Will she, you know, have her own children? Will she adopt? Where is her sort of career trajectory going to go? So she's a nerd deep down. She loves her computer. She loves her technology. We'll have her do a lot of the freelancing stuff, more of the odd jobs that are geared towards technology and handiness, I think. And those are the skills that we're going to go with with her. So yeah, again, thank you so much. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff here on YouTube. And also follow me over on Twitch and anything social media challenge related. All that's in the description down below. And I will see you all later. Bye everyone!